Receive it. It's yours. So just a day I decided you know what let me go off social media and I'm back what am I seeing the video is fighting a baba some club vanadeku lego is having a fight including simi and uh, Inyanya is praying for a fan to be like his father and guys I have to say this whole fight in the entertainment industry in Nigeria especially the music industry is kind of keeping us entertained but that's not the reason why I'm here. The reason why I'm here is to talk about the video that I just watched previously. Guys, I have to say, if you are going to run a scam, please don't run it in the name of God. Don't use the name of God and run a scam. Yes, there is this saying, don't do not touch the anointed or do my prophet no harm. But then again, when the prophet is the one hurting and harming people why shouldn't we talk about it apparently there is this church in ghana where congregation gets a debit alert from god and the holy spirit and guys i'm sorry for saying this i know that this is the third video i'm making talking about fake pastors or talking about pastors as in general but i have to say i'm a christian and being a christian and being raised in a christ in a christian family there's this core value that okay you know this is what you have to do to be christian like receive it it's yours hey hey In a church, yeah, miracles happen when you have faith. A lot of things can happen to you when you pray. But for some gullible people to attend the church and a man of God prays for you, and instantly you get a debit alert from God on your on your phone on your phone. Oh, um, so are you telling me that God has you have your own personal phone number? What? Like, what are we trying to gain from? duping uh people because this is a pure scam this is a pure scam you can be doing this and uh, the funniest thing is on this era of social media you know that you're performing a fake miracle you perform it and then you post it on social media like what are you trying to gain by posting it on social media and then again there is this other video of a pastor i don't know from which church i don't know from which country but uh, according to the pastor that he's the only one with the power to hold his microphone and preach that no other person in the church can withstand the power of his microphone and then what happened he put it to test and people were falling on the floor immediately they hold the microphone and then i'm like if you want to preach i'm just trying to show you how heavy not when you are thinking are you hearing me the moment you take this mic, check it and preach. You want to preach? Keep preaching. what the hell is going like what the hell is going on guys 
I know I've been speaking on pastors uh, in the previous video that I'm doing, but I think uh, for the I think the next thing I should do is just to rebrand my channel and uh, focus on talking about fake pastors because the amount of fake pastors that I'm seeing, the videos that I'm seeing, it's so overwhelming not to talk about it. Like you are praying for someone to receive a debit alert from God. So God has the person's private number and then you are saying that your microphone is filled with anointing that only you as the man of god can withstand the power of the microphone guys please make it make sense and i've been talking a lot i've talked a lot about this but please hit the subscribe button if this is your first time coming across my channel give this video a massive thumbs up and uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section i'll see you guys on the next video bye bye